Nancy from the Orange Beach Public Library here with another bedtime story time. And you see Sammy right there in the corner. He's going to hopefully act a little better today. We're going to give it a shot. Um, we start every story time with a song. And our evening ones go like this. <clears throat> hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Very good. Good job, Sammy. All right, we're going to read a story. Are you ready? All right. This story is called In a Jar, <clears throat> and it's by Deborah Marcero. Look at those little rabbits. <clears throat> All right. Llewellyn was a collector. He collected things in jars. When he held a jar and peered inside, Llewellyn remembered all the wonderful things he had seen and done. What was in that jar? What are those? Can you tell? I think they're leaves. He collected small, ordinary things like buttercups, feathers, and heart-shaped stones. That's cool. One night, <clears throat> the sunset painted the sky the color of tart cherry syrup. Llewellyn ventured down to the shore with as many jars as he could carry. A little girl named Evelyn was there too. Isn't that so pretty? Llewellyn scooped that cherry light into his jars, and when he was done, he gave one to Evelyn. Evelyn took the jar home, and to her surprise, it glowed through the night with the memory of that sunset. From then on, Llewellyn and Evelyn collected things together. They collected things hard to hold, like rainbows, the sound of the ocean, and the wind just before the snow falls. They collected things that you might not think would even fit in a jar, but somehow they did. <clears throat> they collected the wonders of winter. Look at that snow and lights and a fire. I see a fox, some hot cocoa maybe. The newness of spring, look at all those flowers, and the ducks, ooh, and lightning, and the long days and shadows of summer. Over time, their jars filled the walls of Llewellyn's house. How cool is that? Look at all those cool jars. But one day, Evelyn had sad news. Her family was moving to a new town. Too soon, it was time to say goodbye. Oh, so sad. S Sammy, are you sad? With Evelyn gone, Llewellyn's heart felt like an empty jar. No. Go play. One night, Llewellyn lay awake. Falling stars gl glittered across the dark sky. He wondered if Evelyn could see them too. That gave him an idea. Llewellyn tiptoed out of the moonless night and collected the meteor shower in a jar. The next day, he prepared a package. Well, who's he gonna send the package to? I think Evelyn. When the box arrived and Evelyn opened the jar, the stars in the night sky fell around her. Evelyn knew just what to do. She collected the sounds, the crowds, and the bright night lights of her new home and sent them all to Llewellyn. Cool. Also, 
And so, when the golden leaves of autumn began to fall once again, Llewellyn set out to collect a jarful for Evelyn. And a little boy named Max was there, too. Luckily, Llewellyn had brought an extra jar. The end. I think those illustrations are beautiful. Thank you, Penguin, letting us read this one today in a jar. All right. How about we sing our good night song? Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, shake your head. If you're happy and you know it, shake your head. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shake your head. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thank you so much for coming today. I'll see you again tomorrow for another Stay in Storytime at 10 a.m. Bye.